You might think I'm crazy, but this is how I go pee. I go pee straight into a milk jug. Why, do you ask? Well, I'll get into that in a second. But first, a little story about urine. We all know what it is because we all do it many times a day. We all go pee. Urine, the liquid byproduct of our body. Our bodies break down waste that's chock full of nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, which are the three main elements plants need to thrive. Most of us flush our urine off in clean water to be treated at a centralized water treatment plant. This is a highly energy intensive process. In fact, that is what should be grossing us out. Not this. Peeing into fresh water? Ew. I'd rather use this as fertilizer, but no. Instead, we manufacture fertilizer synthetically using finite resources when we have this all coming out of us every day. We have to be the stupidest species on the planet. But I choose not to be part of that problem. And one of the ways that I can do that is by recycling and using my pee as fertilizer. And I could do that whether I'm homesteading on my own land or if I'm renting. I've been saving my own pee for over 20 years now, and I've learned a thing or two about it over that time. First off, don't get grossed out by this. Urine is completely sterile. Astronauts even drink the stuff, after it's been filtered, of course. Also, I recognize that it's easiest because I'm a guy. My wife and daughter, not so much. But for me, I can pee straight into this milk jug. But there are pee diverting toilets out there, or you could just pee into a bucket if you're a woman. There are ways that all of us can recycle our pee. It's pretty simple if we really want to do it. But however you decide to harvest your urine, we have to know how to use the urine. So let's get into that. Urine can be used as a nitrogen rich fertilizer in two ways. One way is to use your urine directly in the compost pile. No need to water it down. It gives the compost a boost and it helps it break down faster. Plus, it adds tons of nutrients when it comes to spreading that compost around. Your plants will really love it. And another way to use urine as a fertilizer is to apply it directly into the garden. But hold on. You should dilute the urine at a ratio of 10 to 1. Undiluted urine is way too strong and can kill your plants instead of helping them thrive. You have to water it down first. When you have the urine diluted, you can feed your plants. I like to just feed them at the soil level because I've noticed that if it hits leaves, it can still burn them sometimes. Scientific American put out a great article, which I'll link to down below, that highlighted a study done with beets grown with urine, urine and wood ash, chemical fertilizers, and nothing. And they found that beets grown with urine were 10 to 20% larger than the beets grown with other methods. And I've noticed that the plants that I fertilize with urine do pretty well. Some of the plants that really thrive off of being fertilized by urine include bananas, tomatoes, greens, kalo, corn and squash and all those other heavy feeding plants that you might find in your garden. And in fact, another thing that helps this channel grow is you planting your finger on the like button down below. So why don't you go ahead and just do that right now real quick. All right, sweet guys, mahalo for doing that. Now, let's figure out what else we can do with urine. Remember what I said about the fact that if you don't dilute the urine, it could kill your plants? Well, if that's what you want, you found yourself the perfect herbicide. Urine could be pretty harmful for plants. It could burn the leaves, it could change the composition of the soil, and eventually it could make it hard for plants to survive. You've seen it in places, if you have pets or kids, there's always a dead spot of grass in places where they tend to pee a lot. That's what urine can do to your weeds. And if you use it right, it can help kill your weeds, but also fertilize your plants. In a similar way, urine could be used to break down old stumps more quickly. Normally, stump removal involves using heavy chemicals to really get rid of that stump, but you could do it naturally with urine. It may take a little bit longer, but it's a lot faster than if you just let mother nature do the work. The acids in the urine break down the cellulose in the wood even faster so that any little stump in your garden will disappear before you know it. Another reason to go pee on a tree, I guess, huh? And if you got animals and a predator problem, I have another use of pee for you. Urine could be spread near livestock or along property lines to discourage predators from coming into your property. Just one cent of human urine and they'll think twice about coming after your flock. In fact, if you spread enough of it, most people will think twice about coming to your place because it's gonna stink. So don't do it too much. And you know another cool thing I just learned that urine can do? 
Researchers in South Africa have found that urine can separate um, lithium and cobalt from old batteries and electronic components with a 98% efficiency rate. Usually that stuff is reserved for nasty chemicals in order to recycle those sorts of heavy metals. But now they can do it with urine. Another reason for us to be saving that stuff up, right? And the next time you finish that gallon of milk, save the jug and go pee in it. Divert your waste, harvest a resource, and become more sustainable in your life, whether or not you live off-grid or in the city. And if you want to learn more about how urine works in a compost toilet system, check out this video where I show off a compost toilet system that I used for over 20 years. Oh man, I sure miss that thing. I think I'm going to have to make another one for my new place here. All right, everybody. Till next time. Oh, we hole.